here is one of my own games again. Um, I played this one um, a few days ago uh, during a, a team match of the regional uh, competition and I lost this game. I was playing white and one of the important things that we always hear when we want to improve our chess is to analyze your losses, your, uh, your defeats and try to understand why you lost and what you could have done better and sometimes it's easier to see where you went wrong and sometimes it's, it's more difficult and I must say that in this case I found it quite difficult to to understand why, where I went wrong but l let's have a look at the game I opened as usual with d4 and my opponent played the uh, Dutch defense, the Leningrad variation with uh, g6 and bishop g7 and we got to this position I played here d5 this is all theoretical uh, stuff, it's, it's to d5 is meant to prevent uh, black from playing e5 immediately and uh, controlling the center he played c6 here my knight goes to h3 because I just want to keep this diagonal still open and here he played e5 I took the pawn en passant like this he took with the bishop and here I played bishop to f4 now here already we are on a, in, a, in a position that I don't know the theory about this um, later when I replay the game at home I saw that this is this position has been played before many times and black took here on c4 and I have the choice here <coughs> to take with queen on d6 or with bishop on d6 what I did is I took here with the bishop bishop takes d6 but a few moves later I realized that it would, was probably better to take with queen with the idea queen takes e6 and after exchanging here knight a6 cancelling queenside and after cancel queenside by black then being able to play e4 here but well this this is an interesting position it's it's, it's uh, maybe not uh, not clearly better for 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 white but it's it's interesting and it's uh, absolutely playable for both sides but in the game as I said, I took on d6 with bishop, like this, and then black replied a very strong move, knight to d5. And let me ask you, what would you play here? As you can see, the bishop on d6 is now undefended because the knight on d5 is blocking the queen on d1 that was defending bishop on d6. So what would you do here? Pause the video and, and take a look do some calculations and tell me what you think because what I did here was actually when I saw knight d5 and the trouble there were was arising here I thought that the bishop takes d6 had been a mistake I played here knight takes d5 because I didn't see anything better and I got into a worse position after queen takes d6 Knight c3. Here he took on c3. Actually, queen takes d1 would have been even better for, for black, but anyway, this is good enough for black. And after exchanging here, I had to take with the king because otherwise my a2 pawn would hang. And here, black has a long term advantage because of this better pawn structure of black. My pawn on c3 is very weak and my rook on a1 has to stay defending the pawn on a2 so black is here better going back now to the position where I asked you the question what you would play this one so this is the position of the knight d5 that's the last move of, of black the engine Fritz finds here a, a very interesting option. Actually the way I thought here was I cannot defend the, the, the bishop on d6 so the only choice I have is to take on d5 with knight or with bishop or retreat my bishop from d6 somewhere but that was not a good option because then c3 would hang twice. That's what the way was the way I thought 
but now Fritz, this engine, finds the move queen a4 and that's an interesting option because here if b5 is played then the queen can go into a3 and from a3 defends this knight on d6 so somehow this um, idea, this continuation of queen a4 followed by queen a3 was um, a step too deep for me somehow I didn't think about it in, in in this position I simply thought it's impossible to defend the d7 the, sorry, the d6 um, bishop so that's why I didn't find this move, queen a4 now I'll show you the rest of the game because it's quite interesting how black kept his, uh, his advantage until the end I tried to activate my knight Knight c5 was played here now. Queen c2, uh, sorry, King c2, Castle Queen side. Now here I played h4. The idea of h4 is to prevent Black from playing g5 and chasing my knight away, because this knight I need this knight to defend e2 on one hand, and also because I want later to go with this knight to d3, supported by a rook on, on the d file. And that would be um, a slight improvement of my position so to prevent g5 I played h4 rook h to e8 was played here now he's threatening to take on uh, e2 so I, play, I played e3 rook d6 and here I did bishop to f1 the fact is here that this square d3 is very important and at the moment the control of d3 by black is superior as black could later double his, uh, his rooks on the d file and it would get worse and worse so I tried to exchange this, um, these bishops and that's what happened bishop takes bishop takes now he played rook to d8 and I realized that L these rooks are threatening to enter here on d2 and I'm getting in, in big trouble now here I um, decided to change the rooks because I didn't see any better option here the threat of black entering on the second rank is, is so big that I decided to play rook to d1 realizing that I would enter a, 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 an inferior endgame, knights and, and pawns so this was swapped off and then the knight goes to e4 attacking two pawns at the same time on f2 and on c3 I played knight c3, knight d3 he took on c3 king c2 now of course black didn't take on a2 because if knight takes a2 then king b2 wins the knight but my opponent of course saw that and that's why he went with his knight to e4 back and here is actually just a matter for black of advancing his um, his passed pawn, bringing the king to the center, advancing his passed pawn to, um, to win the game I tried now this desperate attempt to uh, get some complications on the king side but it didn't work as you can see actually this end game is simply uh, one for for black very easy I played g4 here he played a4 I took on f5 and he played a3 and now this a pawn is impossible to stop so I resigned here at this uh, at this point so this was the game that I played and um, well I, I hope that you find it uh, interesting to um, to see this and how sometimes we get into positions that are um, difficult to evaluate and difficult to find the correct continuation but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you next time on YouTube goodbye